Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to understand generating the word frequency and word cloud in NVivo. Basically, it's a univariate type of analysis in which we want to in which we want to count that how, the particular word is repeated how many times in the in the data and on that basis we'll be generating the word cloud. So for this purpose we'll be using the default data frame of NVivo which is given uh, with the software and the data frame is environment concerns to generate the word cloud first of all you will have to go in explore and you will have to go run the word frequency for this purpose make sure that now you will only generate top 100 words which are most frequently repeated and at least the length should be five the reason for specifying this thing is that if you keep more lesser and lesser words lesser characters more words will be generated it means that a n the this all words will be generated which does not have any qualitative relevance so make it five and then run the query so you can see beach is being generated beach people so this is repeated 261 times in the data and the share is 67 percentage you can also generate word cloud from here At any moment of time, if you feel that this particular word is of no, of no importance or rather this does not carry any uh, qualitative data relevance, what you can do is just click on that word, right click on it and add two stop words list. Click OK. This word will not disappear immediately. Again, you will have to run the query and then the words will no longer be in your word cloud. You can see Carolina is no longer a part of the analysis. You can also generate tree map from here. It means that the word which is generated more number of times, it will have a more heat or rather more space will be occupied. You can also have a cluster analysis. The cluster analysis results are displayed here. Now on the right hand side you can see which stamp words if you go on lowering it will take the uh, it will cluster all the words together for example talk talking and talk so when i run the query beach the beach word which which was used here it is considered to be the root word and all those words which are stamped or rather from this root uh, germinated from this root word they will be also in your they will be also generated in your analysis you can see in the summary beach and beaches now if I still lower it it will also capture the synonyms so run query so you can see going all this are part of the root word I can also select just wait for a minute I can also select that in which files or selected items I want to do the search, in which selected folder I want to do the search. Uh, now further, I want to run a particular query related to the text, that also I can do. One more thing which I want to show to you is, uh, go in files and go in cases, cases or rather uh, in area and township if i select and right click you are in the position to generate the word cloud of this particular one particular code also that is also possible you can generate this visualize word cloud from here that is also possible you can change the settings from here the layout also can be changed from here. Now I want to run a text search related to the particular query. So what I'll do is I'll go in explore text search and say for example if I'm writing here fishing 
run query word tree so all those words which are prefix of phishing in the document and suffix in the document they all will be generated you can see it's basically just like generating the knowledge graph you can also import this graph right click export the word tree and just you can paste it on word so thank you all of you this was generating the word frequency and word cloud in nvivo you can subscribe to my channel keep keep following me on linkedin and twitter